Great Shalom. Before we start this lesson, we would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rokak Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to the Akim across the globe, pushing the word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. And uh, we just wanted to bring out a quick lesson on, hey, we, we have to fear the Lord, all right? Uh, hey, it, it's a good thing to fear the Lord, all right? And I'm, uh, I'm going to start off with this scripture. This is the book of Proverbs 9 and verse 10. It says, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Hey, so when you start to fear the Lord, hey, that's when you start to receive understanding. That's when you start to receive knowledge and, and, and basic understanding of uh, especially the scriptures. All right. Because if you don't fear the Lord hey, the most high isn't going to reveal this uh, knowledge, this beautiful knowledge unto you. And hey, the scriptures talk about wisdom doesn't dwell in a malicious soul. You know, so hey, we got we got to uh, fear the Lord. We got to ask the most high to to, you know, direct our path to to to. Uh, uh, Walk in his ways. Uh, you get this one. Did you read it? Just read it. Oh, and this is the pop. This is the <clears throat> Salakia. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 6. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So, in Salakia, with another scripture, in Proverbs 3 and verse 7. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. That means depart from evil and trust in the Lord and trust in Hamashiach Yahweh You know, with all your ways, you know, with all your might and soul, trust in Him always, and then He'll guide you to the right path. And then from this evil, wicked society that Eden created. Come, yeah. So, hey, you gotta fear the Lord, man. You know, this is Proverbs 8 and 13. The fear of Yahweh is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way. And the forward mouth do I hate. So hey, that's the fear of the Lord, Yahweh. All right. This, these are some examples on how you fear Yahweh. All right. It isn't looking up and just, you know, making a, a, a scary face. And, you know, nah, man, it's an action. All right. It's an action towards fearing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, and it says to hate evil. Hey, and the scriptures talk about constantly uh, the evil, the wickedness. All right, breaking the laws, statutes, and commandments. Okay, keeping the laws. All right, hey, when you keep the laws, hey, hey that's a form of uh, fearing the Lord, you know, and loving Him. Hey, when, when you fear Yahweh, you're at the same time you are loving Him as well. All right, it says. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. So yeah, man, hey, those are some examples on how you fear the Lord. This is the book of Proverbs 19 and 23. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. All right, hey, so there comes benefits when you fear the Lord. When you fear the Lord, hey, you're in peace with the Most High because what? The Most High controls everything. And hey, the scriptures talk about, um, the scriptures talk about, hey, if, if a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. So, hey, you know, hey, the Most High controls people, controls kingdoms, you know? So if you fear the Lord, hey, you're going to be good. You're going to be good, man. And uh, you get this one. And this is the book of Psalms, chapter 86, verse 11. Teach me the way, O Lord, and I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. So, you know, if you walk in the footsteps of, you know, Yahweh by Shimei Shai, and then, you know, he'll make you a good heart, you know, and you'll depart from evil from this wicked world that we're current in right now so you won't be bugged out in this society just like the rest of the people out here don't know what's going on you know wow. when you got this wisdom knowledge and understanding in these latter days because you're going to need that in the time of Jacob's trouble and coming right you know, hey. on the fear of the Lord you know fear um. him you know trust in him all the time 100% to the best of your ability 
even though we currently stand in our captivity. But, you know, the most high laid the scriptures out for us. Open up the book, you know, the, you know, the book of, of the law, you know, in the Holy Bible. And he want us to be holy, a set apart people and not being pertained in this uh, wicked society that things that are upside down, you know. So with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in these latter days, we definitely go have this and have us in a safer place for this. Con, I'm gonna get that scripture you just called for because that's the spirit I was gonna bring that one out earlier too. Um, Con, and this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse six. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right, con. So that means the fear of the Lord is his treasure. You know, you know that's a big part of our lives as being, you know, Israelites, being the 12 tribes of Israel, as you so-called Lingos, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know. So we got to fear the Lord with trembling, you know. Fear him always, 100%, to the best of our ability. Right, like you said, yeah, that, that fear of the Lord, that's what's going to keep us stable and, you know, in these, last, in these last days, you know, that wisdom, knowledge, understanding, all right, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, like the brother uh, was saying, you know. Hey, boy, you know, hey, I hope we hope the lesson was edifying. We're going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to the Akim across the globe, pushing the word in truth and in sincerity. Until next time, Lord willing, Yahweh Ratazah, Shalom. Shalom.